Hi there and welcome to Gradient Colors. We are going to work on these shapes and take them from plain colors to this awesomeness of gradient color and even better. I'm showing a lot of examples here. Now notice guys, if you use gradients wisely and artistically, they can give you extremely good results. If you use them in a flashy way for backgrounds or multiple colors in one shape and stories like this, it might not look, uh, you know, as beautiful as you could imagine. And surely it won't look like 2021. But gradients can give you awesome effects. Let's start learning how to use gradients. We're going to start by this shape over here. You need to apply a gradient colors. So usually you will come to the field. That's one way to add gradient. You can come to the black or the orange yellow and the fading sky. Just to apply the first gradient, then you will change it. Now, I recommend use the white and black because the other two have some tricks that you will learn about later. Let's go for white and black. This is a very common gradient, but this is not our purpose here. We need to change the colors. How do you change the colors? As soon as you apply a gradient or as soon as a shape or an element, an object has a gradient, you will see the gradient options over here. If you click on it, you will have the gradient panel. It is the same one that you can get from window gradient here. The shortcut is Command F9 or Control F9. Your edit will happen all in the gradient panel. The first thing you notice is the colors and some kind of a diamond over here and you have opacity, location and so on. To change colors, simply you select a color here, the circle. It was long time ago a house and you double click on it and you can pick your color. For this one, we are going to pick the yellow and the next color, we double click on it and we're going to pick the orange here. Okay, now it's looking very subtle and very nice. That's one way to change your colors. And we are using, by the way, here the linear gradient. By default, it's always linear. You have radial and you have the free form. We'll see later. To edit the gradient now in a more practical way, you could edit the gradient over here. If I click on it, I will edit the gradient. Now notice what appeared here, it is the gradient tool. By clicking on edit gradient, you enable the gradient tool. It is the same as going to the gradient tool. Here you are. Now in the gradient tool is exactly the same as this bar with more. First of all, you have the colors. You can double click on a color and change to the color that you want. Then you can double click on the other one and do exactly the same change to the one that you like. You have the middle point. Notice the middle point here is more noticeable. So actually the middle point here is deciding where the mixing of the yellow and the orange that we have selected is going to start. So the mixing is going to start here or even here. Don't make it very sharp, but in the middle somewhere is nice. We can click on the color and move it around. It's also moving with the middle point. So now you notice the orange is going to be full orange just over here. And from this color to the end is going to be full orange. Same, you can bring this guy over here. And now you have a very rude line here. But nevertheless, you get the point. You can still adjust the way you would like. So I'm going to put it back over here. Let's move it just over here for simplicity. Show you why. You have a square. This square is about stretching the gradient bar. And you have the Rotation is about rotating the gradient bar. Let's start with stretching and why it's useful. I will click on it and just drag it out. Notice what's happening to the colors. The color is moving, the whole bar is getting longer. And now the start at the end of the colors, or in fact, the end of the color is changing. You can still adjust it over here and have the same kind of result or move it here. Sometimes it's very useful to use this one. Actually, it's always useful. Now, rotation is amazing. You can just come to rotation. So you point and here you are rotation. You click and drag. Okay, so I'm rotating it. Notice how the colors are changing according to the points. Okay, or the point colors. And I'm going to put it over here. Notice that the gradient bar did not stay at the same position where I left it. It recentered itself in the middle of the shape. It makes sense because if it's over here or over here, it doesn't make a difference. The colors are still in the same position relative to the shape. The point here or the circle here, the black circle, you can just click and move it the way you would like. So you can get lots of ideas how to create your gradient. 
As soon as you release, it's gonna center itself again. Here you are, let's move it over here, for example. And we have a very nice gradient. Let's rotate it a bit. Not bad at all. This is how to use the bar. Of course, you can add more colors if you want to. Let's take the shape, okay? We start with this one. Press Command to go to Selection Tool, click on this shape, and release, and back to the Gradient Tool. You can now add your gradient. I'm gonna click just over here. But you can click and draw another bar. Okay, not another bar, a new bar. You have the gradient, you can draw it the way you would like. May be useful. Actually, it's not accurate unless you have a good idea of what you're doing. That looks fine for us. Let's do it this way, in fact. Notice I can come here and the arrow will change to a plus. Can you see it? Plus. You can add another color. Of course, add the previous color. So you double click on it and you can change to another blatant color. So I show you the difference. Can add more. Add one here. Can come to the bar, add the colors here if you want to. Okay, there are the same colors we're adding, but nevertheless, you don't like a color, you can select it and drag it out. I love this one. Or <laughs> select it and click on the dustbin. I'm gonna remove these guys. Actually, I'm gonna keep two, but this is the way to add more color. Now, depending on your artwork, you can add many colors and so on, but guys, don't make it like, oh wow, what is this? Okay, make it, you know, smooth. So actually, we covered a lot of ground already on the gradient. I'm gonna take this guy here, this small guy here, zoom in, command or control plus, and add the gradient. I'm just gonna click over here, just clicked on the bar, and double click, I'm gonna give it to white, and over here, double click, I'm gonna give it this color here. Bring in the white less. So notice I have a very nice gradient I'm creating here, very subtle, very refined, beautiful. Now, I didn't like these colors, by the way. I did a mistake here, I don't want these colors. I want uh, something bluish. Let's change it, I'll double click here. I want actually this blue, yes, and of course, I want this blue. That looks much better. Even the, the bar is looking very nice. Click on the gradient bar here. It's quite cool, let's do it like this. And this guy can come over here, I like it. Command zero. Up to now, we covered the linear gradient. And you saw the examples, so how to make it refined. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to work with the radial gradient, and it's going to be awesome. See you then.